This is a demonstration of the form capabilities built into GraphPad for companies that want to configure the application so that they can have their business forms, um, their estimations, their proposals, etc. Um, and the idea is that on the iPad they can actually do all of their work while on site with the customer and close the deal so they're not going back and copying things back to a desktop. To do this demonstration I'm going to bring up um, a modified version of Syntex's form, Syntex Foundation, which I've done a lot of consulting with. And the first thing you'll notice is I've got fields off to the side. So we're going to go into text mode. And we'll notice that the fields are actually nice and large. Now, Syntex has optimized their drawing space because that's really what they do for using the iPad 4. Um, but rather than have these real tiny fields on the top, they can actually have nice big fields to the side and they can type in their values as so field work order number. And you'll notice a bunch of things happen when I hit return. So first of all, it automatically copies the work order to the appropriate field on the form, but it also put in the inspection date and the inspector's name and tab down to the next field. So we'll put in an address here real quick. Now, when we tab to the city field, we get a list of values. And these are all the cities that Syntex does business with. And so we'll put in clean and it tabs again. And now in the zip code, it gives us a numeric keypad. So we can put in a appropriate zip code with too many digits. And now we put in a name, so we'll put in Davis. And in this example, it's scrolling off the screen, but you wouldn't have to worry about that. Hit return. And the foundation actually has a list of values as well. And so we'll pick, we're going to pick um, the other one, but we'll go with post and beam. Okay, so the form's now filled out. Now, of course, you still have the, the drawing engine. And in this case, I'm going to use a, a stylus to make this simple. But you've got the same dimensional drawing engine, of course, right? So put in values. And for syntax, they have their own library of, of um, beams and stuff. And so we'll pick a line just as an example. And we're going to evenly space those. And we'll pick another line over here in this other value. And what we'll notice is, is that they had a custom feature added, which is a bill of materials or scope of work. And it keeps track of all the icons that they're adding and puts their name in it, the type of icon, etc. Now you'll notice that there's also a signature field down here. And this is so you can actually close on site. So we can pop up a signature field. We'll sign my name real quick and save it. And the important thing to remember is, is we can have all kinds of notes and stuff off page. And only the page that's described is going to print. And so we'll demonstrate that. We'll go ahead and email the PDF to myself. Ah, I can remember how to type here. There we go. And we'll send this guy. And now if we look over an email, and you'll probably notice as we bring it up, I've been testing this a couple times. But let's give this a second to actually sync up. And now we'll see our drawing, we'll see our information that's been put in, and we'll actually see our signature, etc. So that's the majority of the features. Okay, it, there are some additional things. So if we go over to um, the Home Depot form, of course we have check boxes that we can actually populate. I can tab these things, I can never quite get it. And now I've actually disabled Zoom and made it so it can only scroll up and scroll down. And so probably what I'll do is I'll put a range on that so they can't actually scroll the form off the page just to make the user experience that much easier for the end users. Um, in addition, I've actually disabled the text and so they can't type additional text on there. And that's just because it makes filling out the forms a little bit easier so you don't have to worry about um, actually putting an accidental text on there. But you can do that at will. So that really demonstrates the form capabilities and of course you still have the drawing engine. And it's four companies that want to configure this and how they configure it and take advantage of the features of the application. Thank you very much.